to go home, shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Hmm. Sending armed men into the Astral Lounge? Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's squeezed a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. people settled here but it's not really my style it feels more like a trap than a diversion to me welcome to Slayton Aerospace can I help you I yes he is expecting you I can give you access to the elevator but that's it Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. It's ridiculous. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. 
Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. galaxy than most folks, but that will always be impressive. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. This is a private office.
Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now! Let me just get that for you. You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. You might want this. Don't you forget it. Oh, 
Imagine the pile of debris and remains from the city has started to build up in the ocean below the city. Maybe one day it will breach the surface like a conglomerate garbage island.
swear they were just here. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> here? You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. 
Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes, I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If you wish. You will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. Let the thief go with a sternly worded warning or get the authorities involved. Up to you. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is, it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Same old song, huh? You know how this works. Just make up your mind. I don't need to tell you this, but we don't need to kill him. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. And we got what we wanted. I... Thank you. You're welcome. But if I were you, I wouldn't expect leniency around here after this. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor and everything. Got a problem? We'll be here when you're ready. Hello?
Did someone leave some food out before we left? Whoa! Not my attention. What can I help you with? This ain't like getting around to a tone, you understand? Deal with uh, the man who wanted us to. Fine, dead. fine, okay. I guess I'm going. we can call that a win. What do you think? After this, with enough Chandra Vineyard's Merlot in me. I just might. All in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. that I don't have questions, but you clearly just saved our lives, so whatever secrets you need to keep, I'll keep them. Say no more. We all came from different walks of life. That's one of Constellation's strengths. All that matters is who you are now, right? You're one of us. I don't need any more than that. Well, I don't know about you, but I've never heard of these Starborn. And the speculation part of my brain is in overdrive. We need to regroup at the Lodge immediately. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. And complete. In 
enjoy your stay in New Atlantis. Atlantis is the shining beacon of humanity these days, so they say. I'd argue that the beacon of humanity should be measured in our overall survival. Place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? No? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves... the Star. Demand we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, 
We have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So, we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. Not so sure about that. Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them I out as soon as you please. To discuss with you. If you are free soon, could we talk? I've, uh, got some stuff on my mind, when you have the time. Yeah? I Good have the thing you're here with us. There's something else to talk to you about, when you have time. I'd like to talk to you. Hands? Lately, I find myself spending more and more time Business has appealed to me, but this is exciting. Not my first time in a hostile negotiation, as you well know. Admittedly, I usually know more about who I'm facing off against. I'm very interested in what Noel can learn from the scans. The technology on that ship was impressive, to say the least. If there's a chance, we could learn enough to duplicate some of it. I got to where I am by taking advantage of opportunities, no matter where I find them. Might as well make the most of this crazy situation. Goodbye. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. There's certainly precedent, isn't there? We've been operating for a while now on the fringes of what we, I mean humans, know and understand. Why rule anything out? I just think we should be open-minded, keep everything on the table. It's just like the artifacts. The more we learn, the more we can start narrowing things down. It's the argument I have with Walter every other week. Science and reason have their place, but so does faith. We have all of them at our disposal, and I don't for one second believe they're mutually exclusive. Take care of yourself. I'm all ears. Right. Later. Dull moment here. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. You mean what could be the biggest discovery in the history of humanity? Yeah, I've got some thoughts. Scans are still inconclusive, but I think we've seen enough to know that we're dealing with something potentially even more unusual than the artifacts. There are so many questions beyond just who are they? How did they find you? How do they know about the artifacts? Why has no one ever seen them before? They did openly threaten you, as I understand it. I'd say that's something to worry about. It was one thing when this was just about us investigating the artifacts. Uh, a weird phenomenon that didn't come with creepy threats, or questions about aliens, or whatever it is that's going on now. I know we'll figure it all out in the end, it's just... kind of a lot right now. Stay safe, okay?
sorry. I was lost in the memory for a moment. Yes, right. Here, check this out. in the lap of luxury right here.
Starship, or that says Starships. Don't always make some money. Aw, come on. Yes? I need somebody to talk to while I'm on the ship by myself. A good day. It's good to be out and about. My lives get stuffy sometimes. The whole Terramorph situation, seriously, hats off to you. When I was growing up, everyone was afraid of Terramorphs. How they could seemingly strike anywhere at any time. The carnage, the destruction. The stuff you've done here could save so many lives. Given time, that'll be past tense. Because of you. I don't know about these Asilis. That micro would wipe out the Terramorphs for good and certain. I mean, the Asilis? It'll take longer, take more hand-holding, and there's no saying the Asilis will fully get the job done. I hope for all our sake you made the right call. I suppose. The United Colonies. Hell, everyone and everywhere owes you big time. Even if they don't know it. Hello. It is a relief to know that the Terramorphs are being dealt with. But are you sure this Asilis creature is the right way to do it? This would be the same nature that gave us Terramorphs in the first place. I do not think this is the path I would have chosen. One could easily argue that humans are the superior hunter and therefore are right to exterminate these creatures. The microbes would have put fewer people at risk in the long run. It is too soon to know, and at least something is being done. Any effort is better than none. And, I must say, I find it curious that you would agree keeping the Lazarus plant around is a good idea. It seems an additional, unnecessary risk. But you could have changed their minds. They would have listened to you. I find it even more concerning that the United Colonies will keep this information secret. They have enough power already. They do not need this in their arsenal. Well, it is good to know that this particular threat is behind us. And you have done a service to all who live in the settled systems. I hope Cora doesn't get too much Can we speak for a moment? I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. Of course not. No one has. If an encounter with this level of importance had occurred in the past, I assure you that Constellation would be well acquainted with it. Yes, <laughs> I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter, don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. The way they behaved, I'd say that's not very likely. If we are to learn anything from the Starborn, we're going to have to take the initiative ourselves. I do. More than you'll ever know. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? What aren't they telling us? I 
I feel exactly the same way. But it certainly sounded like they weren't willing to work with us at all. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. Then you suspect, don't you mean we? Anyway, that's an interesting theory, but given what we've seen so far, I don't see how it's possible. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old, perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Hmm, I'm not really sure. Scientifically speaking, we're all born from the stars. Most of the chemical components of our body, carbon, oxygen, sulfur, are exactly the same as those manufactured by internal stellar reactions. Now, ask someone like Matteo the same question, and he'd probably give a more theological answer. But hey, it's all a guessing game anyway. Exactly. We must use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection to the artifacts. Thank you. I really appreciate your support right now. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence, eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. Truthfully, I haven't the slightest idea, but just the thought that any of the secrets of the universe could be revealed from these Starborn is terribly exciting. I knew I could count on your support. Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. I don't know about you, but I'm to discuss. I fell into a lot worse in Constellation. 